G'day Sagittarius, welcome back to TJ Tarot Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or you can check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Because these readings are the current energy and the most dominant energy that's coming through. The strongest one. So, yeah. Whoever's energy is wanting to barge its way in here. <laughs> right, clarify card one, please. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind. That's a nice card. Clarify card two, please. You may not be the only one thinking about Sagittarius right now. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Clarify card three, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested. All right. Let's keep going. Three more for the love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. I like to get all the cards out so I don't influence anything. And I know it takes a while, but I like... The cards to come out on screen rather than having them all laid out beforehand. No, I don't trust that. <laughs> and neither should you. <laughs> okay. Clarify card one in row two, please. So I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good week, having a good weekend, and having a good day. Clarify card two in row two, please. And clarify card three in row two, please. Okay. So, oh, you're on top of you. And you're on top of that one. Uh, and we got this one and this one. And then them. All right. So we are ready. It's one more deck, but that's for the end. Okay. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Hmm, you married Sagittarius? Or someone wants to marry you? Well, then, mm, I think they want to marry you because, yes, Ten of Cups. Mm. Oh, excuse me. That shot the air out of me, it made me burp. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, ten of Cups, happy ever after, long term love. Someone wants to marry you, or somebody wants long-term love with you. Well, they want to love you forever, is what I heard. Someone wants to love you forever. Oh, I'm hearing a song. Don't you forever, forever and ever. Hey, do, 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 do. Oh, it's from one of those. Oh, nothing's going to stop us now. <laughs> By Jefferson Airplane Starship, whatever their name is at the time. Anyway. <laughs> Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Ooh. So, they don't even know you that well and they want, ooh. Or are they someone that's happily married and they still want to get to know, ooh. Ooh, another ten. But it's the ten of wands. The burden. Oh, six of cups. Ooh, Queen of Swords. What's going on here? Ooh, Seven of Swords. So oh, dear. And the Two of Cups. <gasps> wow. Wow. 
they could be happily married. But they're not happily married because they're wanting to get to know you. The burden of getting to know each other and make memories of love together. Coming correctly. Now, I'm feeling this is their partner gone cold. In the past there was love. Yeah, see, they've got a burden here because the past held love, but now their partner's gone cold. And they're going to cheat on them with this love. They're going to have to sneak around to have this love with you. Yeah, because it, it's, it's a burden for them because the past love has gone cold. So now they've got to sneak around to have this love with you. See, I saw the Ten of Cups flip up. I saw the Two of Cups flip up and there's another Two of Cups that flipped up. And I thought, oh, this is looking really good. But this is dodgy. They're looking for a happy marriage. Obviously, something's gone in the part from the past has gone cold, but why not leave them? Not sneak around and try to find new love. That's dodgy. And remember, if they do it with you, they'll do it to you. So if they're still with somebody else and they're seeing you behind their back, just remember they'll do that to you too. They'll be with you and they'll be seeing someone else behind your back. So, yeah, just, no, it's not good. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. Yeah, the magician and the emperor... See, they're trying to call somebody in here to manifest on new beginnings. But there's got to be trickery here and they need to control the situation. Oh, this is not good. Major Arcana here too. Yeah, no, this is not good. It's a magic trick because they need to control the situation. So much... Uh, Even if they're, what they're seeking is a happy marriage, the burden of the past has gone, is, you know, forcing them to come correctly while well, they've got their sword up. But the fact that they don't leave them, they're going to cheat, that's my issue here. I don't like that. Kindness, you are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. Okay. Nine of Swords. I think they feel trapped where they are and they're trying to be kind. But not just abandoning, not just leaving. They don't, yeah. They're stuck in their head that they're being kind. By being sneaky. Because they don't want to hurt the person that's got their sword up, the past person. And they don't want to hurt you either. So they feel they're doing a kindness here by being sneaky about this. That's what's in their head. That they're doing a kindness because they're not just deserting their person. But it becomes a third party situation, mate. Cause and effect. Yeah, you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. Look, there's that two cups again. <coughs> And the magician again. Ooh. And they're in sequence too. <sighs> See? Cause and effect. This love connection to manifest. All new beginnings. Love connection. Getting to know. 
to know you for love, to find love, a balanced love that's not a burden anymore. <coughs> to them. So the eye in the corners and effect is that this love will manifest into something. I'm hearing that the magic trick will work. See the trickery. Oh, you like trickery. <laughs> you old cat weasel. Love that, Che. Um, release. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. Right. I'm glad that card's here. What are they going to release, though? Hmm. Six of Wands. Seven of Cups. Seven of Wands. Okay, so I'm already getting the message. The attention of the other options is what they're going to release. Getting, seeking the attention from other options. I'm going to stand up and fight for... Wow, that Ten of Cups again. The one they're committed to. The happiness of the commitment. And the truth. So, are they just getting to know you for attention? Cheating just to... For love... To, see, the, they know the cause and effect is that this love will try and manifest into something. It's going to release seeking attention from other options and actually fight for their happy ever after with truth and honesty. So, who is that, though? So, I want to be married to something that's long-term happiness. I want to get to know someone new because of the burden of the past and the coldness, of, but it's cheating. I haven't let go of that person from the past. So are you just another option or are you the, like we've got two ten of cups, we've got two two of cups. I don't know. They think they're doing a kindness here by keeping you both stuck and trapped. Well. Maybe keeping that ex trapped. <sighs> Just be careful, make sure there's no ex in the picture. Yeah, because look, please don't contact me, is it the pre shuffle? Is that because they're married? To someone they don't want to be married to? But they won't leave them until they find new love. Because to me, they're getting to know you behind their back. <clears throat> and they're hoping this does lead to love manifesting. Because then they can release the other one. I don't like it though. Alright, what does this energy want to say to Sagittarius, please? Okay, so keep in mind this one landed here and this one landed way over there. So I'm always thinking about you. And then we have I don't want to love you. So what is the go here? There's one they don't want to love anymore. And there's one they're always thinking about. Hmm. 
Hmm. So. I'm presuming they don't want to love this burden from the past that's gone cold. They don't want to be stuck in that anymore. And they're always thinking about getting to know this new love they want to manifest. They just want a happy marriage and that's what they want to fight for. Uh, but they need, look, if they're not happy with the one they're with, they need to leave. Not try and get to know somebody else and find love before you leave the other person. That's not, that's cruel. Because you're jeopardising this new love as well as being very selfish to what, instead of letting go the past person that you don't want anymore so they can go off and heal and find someone who will love them. And if your new love finds out about it, you're going to lose that too, mate. Up, up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Like, really, mate? You need to be up there for thinking. You just not, I don't know why I said that, but <laughs> that's what I had to, felt I had to say it. You're just not thinking all right, are ya? Like, ugh. So just be very careful, Sagittarius, because, yeah, make it very clear that it's not going any further until you're single, mate. Yeah. You don't want to be the third party. No. And look, this this past person has gone cold, and that's Queen of Swords energy, like, male or female, you do not want to get in the way of the Queen of Swords. No way. You want that closed out, ended, and the Queen of Swords moving on before you get... <laughs> You do not want to get into that energy, in you know, in front of that energy as the, and you know, the opposition. No. No, no, no. It's just asking for trouble. All right. Well, that's your reading, Sagittarius. <laughs> this is just trouble. It's just trouble. It's just, yeah. I'm sorry, but, yeah. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. That would be awesome. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.